Hello, this is Parody the Possum. You may notice that he is ocularly challenged. It's what we in the profession refer to as a wonky peeper. And this condition means that it won't be safe to release him into the wild, so he'll be living out his days in captivity, being subjected to some of the... Well, here, let me show you. This is a demonstration of proper opossum massage, a skill you'll no doubt want for yourself when you become aware of your own possum's failing flexibility and structural collapse. So first, you want to make sure that your area is well appointed with your tools and your products neatly laid out. You may want some little extras to help the possum relax. Now I like to have an aroma dispenser and when it comes to wildlife I prefer natural fragrances like um, winter pine or <coughs> pesticide. Now I'm going to begin on the senior opossum. Now they only live two to three years so Parody is well into three and has lost some of that elasticity and spring that possums are known for. So, I'm going to moisten my hands with an unscented lotion. And this is because you may have a possum with a sensitivity to environmental allergens. All right, then shake out the stress. Shake it out. Stretch and relax. All right. We begin with slow, gentle circles at the base of the skull. There we are. And then we'll pull down on the trapezius. Now, it may help to use your weight as leverage. So, see what I'm doing here? Push and fan. Push and fan. There. And then, we're going to work down the spine, awakening all the little vertebra as we go. And then, Pull down on the latissimus dorsi and up on the rib cage. Oh, I bet that feels good. Okay, other side. Always work both sides of the possum. Otherwise, you might inadvertently interfere with his natural chi. And nobody wants that. Then I am going to take the top of my hands, slide them under the possum's armpit, gently squeeze, remembering that a little lymphatic drainage goes a long way. There. All right. And now we'll work down the quadriceps looking for any little knots. I think I think I found one. Okay. Ah! Oh, oh! Oh, I bet that feels better. <laughs> All right. And other side. If there are many knots, this procedure could take several hours, but rest assured it is time well spent. Everybody loves a good foot massage. The possum is no exception. So, I am going to ungentize my fingertips, then look for the shiatsu pressure points on the pads of the feet and stimulate all the little nerve endings. 
Yes, oh ho ho, I bet you feel that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, all right. Now, one mistake that people often make when massaging their possum is to throw off the energy. Don't do that. If you feel toxic energy escape into your hands from the possum, it is up to you as healer to transform that energy by opening up your spiritual channels, then redirecting the transformed energy back into the possum. That's right. Now we come to the part that many people think is a whole lot of fun, and that's the tail rub. Possum tails can become dry and scratchy, and nobody wants that. So I'm going to lubricate the tail from the base to the tip, from the base to the tip, in slow, steady strokes. And then we will increase the blood supply to the area. And this is good for the possum, maybe three or four times a week. And you may have noticed there's an elephant in this room, reminding us that the vast majority of possums belong outside. So, if you see one there, you leave it there. If you come across an ill, injured, or orphaned possum, contact a professional wildlife rehabilitator immediately. If after all this you're still left with a possum, well, you stretch that animal out on a table and give it a massage. Next, we are going to turn the possum over onto his back. So, excuse me, honey. I'll just... My, we are a messy snacker, aren't we? Okay, now when you do this, it's very helpful to have a specially designed pillow made of marsupial memory foam. And this you can find at any local marsupial supply outlet. All right. And as far as your table goes, you can also find proper opossum massage tables at your marsupial supply outlet. But failing that, an old ironing board is all right if it has a soft fleecy cover so as not to snag one of these delicate little toenails. That's right. Okay, over we go. Yes, very gently. And then we're going to massage the stress out of the back of the neck. Then open the pector. Well, if your possum does not wish to lay on his back, that's all right, because we can perform the next movement dorsally. Sun, moon, sun, moon. I'm going to put my hands under the possum, onto the abdomen, with the right hand rotating clockwise, and the left Vittershins. Sun. Moon. Sun. Moon. This not only aids in digestion, but it eases elimination as well. And we all know how important it is to keep regular. That's right. All right. Now, we end the massage with a figure is all over body pat. And then we reconnect the polarities, north, south, east, west. And then I'm going to realign the chakras. Remember, accuracy is key. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and the all-important, one, or the root chakra. There. 
Now we finish off by sweeping out the aura, getting rid of any dislodged psychic toxic debris. Now, if you see images or colors or demons, don't be alarmed. It's just part of the process. There. Doesn't he look relaxed? I know what you're thinking. I want to do that, but I'll never remember the sequence. Well, we have you covered because I brought with me a little something that I like to call a book. And it is Pearls of Wisdom, written by me, Georgette Spelvin, and my dead partner, the squirrel Pearl to Wisdom. And on page, let's see, on page 36, Proper Opossum Massage, you will see step-by-step -step instructions on how to replicate this procedure whenever warranted. Oh, you're thinking, I don't have a possum. Well, no problem, because these techniques will work on any wild animal you have. That's, oh, that reminds me. Let me further draw your attention to the caveat on page 12. Let it be understood that I, George S. Spelvin, and Pearl de Wisdom absolve ourselves of any and all responsibility for whatever may go terribly, terribly wrong as a result of following our instructions or advice. Well... Thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Bye. Bye-bye.